you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Nice straight right hand. Good, keep the pressure on him. You're doing great. Oh, well timed with that tee. Sidekick is there. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Hands higher, hands higher. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is bringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh, straight punch, it's there again. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. And blocks that hard punch. Right, back down, back down. Space now. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Big head kick. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Just over two minutes, round one. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Beautiful. Big power shot there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. That's a big strike right there. Nice left hand. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. Oh, beautiful switch kick lands. 
Swing and a miss by Lee. Remain in the round. Oh, nice. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Let me see that hook now. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Now he gets a more dominant position at the end of it. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Can't take many of those, you better check. Final seconds. Oh, Round two oh. straight ahead. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, ahead. round two. All right, so here we go as the next round gets underway. If Ray Longo was here, he would say that previous round was what we call a striking clinic. He did a fantastic job of landing his strikes, throwing everything with an idea of where he was trying to go, and he landed at a very, very high rate. And now the jab gets through. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice job by him defensively there. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. So oh, nice. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. All right, so a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, nice jab. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Under three minutes now to go round two. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, that one landed, yep. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Lee gets hit with a kick. Right hand landed. 
90 seconds to go. Oh, nice head kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Another big head kick land. You have got to make some adjustments. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Very fast jab lands for him. And just misses with that big right hand. Under a minute to go. Now lands a solid punch there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. It's got to change something. Final seconds here of round two. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a Ready. chance to win this fight? Ready. Do Here it. we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike, and it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Back and forth we go. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Leg gets to the target. Nasty high kick lands. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Oh, the head kick lands. Swing and a miss by Lee. 
Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Well, really playing to that length when he landed that punch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Keep your hands up. Oh! Come on now. Let's move. Let's take it low. Stay focused. Oh, he didn't like that one. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Straight punch. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Nice jab. Leaves all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. That was a massive high kick. Beautiful leg kick lands. Straight right is there. Another leg kick land. Missed with that attempt. Ooh! Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that big one. Oh! Final seconds of round three. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, sit down, bud. That was awesome. Great round. Another round in the books there. Everything you're throwing is landing. I want you to stay heavy with those kicks. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five, and this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Flips to avoid the right. That's the pace. There you go. Keep that pace up. Back and forth we go. It takes two to tango, and man, have these two individuals tangoed tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one ends. It's one of those fights where when you look at these two and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt. They're both beat up. And both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position on, to win this fight. Let's go. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, solid kick right there. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Lee. 
Locked under three minutes now to go in the round. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Lands a good series of kicks here. Look at the control of the posture as he land that knee. Getting the hands going here early. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. We'll work with that jab. Jab lands. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Leg kick lands. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Less than two minutes now to go. Oh, he lands that too. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Nice crack there. He ripped the body there. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Huge knee lands for the clinch. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Fast jab lands it. Well, most of you remember exactly when this cut happened, and now it is getting really bad. They're gonna have a lot of cleanup to do before our next oh. oh! Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the side kick, DC. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Guess the single collar tie now. Big knee land. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue on the path in order to make the cut worse. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Lands a strike there. Oh, spinning heel kick connects. Impressive. Dig and kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that.
Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him. That I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Nice leg kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shots that he landed. Great job. Knee to the body. Oh, nice high kick. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Let it go now. Oh, knee to the head. That never feels good. Oh, thwack, that is a solid kick right there. Back and forth we go. Two minutes now to go in this one. Clean punch. Oh, man, you got to credit him for continuing to attack that area, but that cut is getting harder to look at by the minute. Yeah, it's hard to watch, and, you know, we, we spoke about this guy and how impressed we were with his fight IQ and how smart he was in his approach. Shows again, he got his opponent hurt, and he has been on that cut the entire time. Great job. Switch kick lands. He's throwing that jab to the body. Throws the teeth now and it lands. It is hard to hear ourselves on the headsets. This place is going crazy after one of the best fights of the year. Both men put it all on the line. Just really a sight to behold from minute one of this fight. Well, they told us. They both told us. Strap in. This is going to be one of the best fights you've ever seen. And boy, has it delivered. We have seen blood. We have seen heart. We have seen spirit. We have seen these two lay it on the line against each other. But hey, it takes two to tango. And we had the two right guys in the octagon tonight to produce an instant classic. We need the takedown. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, tie, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers.